If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hi folks, Larry here with another pin review, interesting and exciting. So let's get with it. Right now, Mr. This is Mr. Announcer's pin. It really is a good looking fountain pen. It's a small pen. Uh, I'm trying to think of the size it would be compared to. Uh, I'm thinking to maybe a Schaefer pocket pen, but don't hold me to that, okay? But uh, this is called the N8 glass nib slash it has a steel nib. You can interchange the nibs, which is pretty cool, and this has a roll top. No clip roll top, and just I do love the colors in the pen. It's a screw on, screw off cap, and you can't post it. It has a place on the bottom here of the barrel where it fits on very nicely and securely. And here is that beautiful glass nib. And it comes in this pin case right here with your instructions. And it has a ink converter right there. Plus it has a steel nib if you feel like you like to change your mount from glass to a steel nib as well. It comes nicely done in this plastic pin case. And it has a nice foam to keep everything in place so when it's traveling abroad it's not going to go anywhere okay so is the handmade well I'm sorry I'd like to go ahead and describe that Mr. Announcer since it's your pin there uh, it's ambidextrous for it's oval, writers it, yes yes and it's oval shape which I like medium nib metal include compartment components of a cartridge Features are going to be a click off cap, and the theme is going to be a fantasy. Okay, the pen weighs in at 8.6 grams. The length of the pen would be 4.29 inches. Like I said, it does post when you screw it on at the bottom of the barrel. There's a place for it with 5.89 inches. Uh, really nice design, nice pattern in the pen. You go to the top of the cap, there's not a lot going on there, but it does match in when you go to the bottom of the barrel. It would fit very nicely and secure in the bottom. And right here on the very bottom below where it screws in, kind of matches the same on top of the cap. Good looking pin. Hmm. Now, if it had a clip, it'd be perfect to steal from Mr. Announcer. Mm. Mr. Announcer is upset with me right now because it's bedtime. <laughs> so, like I said, unscrew. And there you have it. So, I'm going to put it in some very cool ink. How about some base state blue, baby? Yes, sir. I love me some base state blue. I can hear people now. Oh! Say blue. Well, that's okay. I like it. Remember, it's what you like to use. And that's a glass nib, so I don't think it's going to hurt it. No, it's not going to hurt it. I've done tests on that, so I'm not going to hear it now. But anyway, this is the number of what, hun? It was the number of six or number uh, N8 is what it's designated. Okay. I'm right in front of my face, glass nib. Wow, very nice.
I'm liking it. That is sweet. I'm liking it. He just glides over on paper. Time to re-dip it. I'm loving it. Look at that. And I really do enjoy the glass nibs. For me, they work very well. So, let me put this all back on. It's kind of nib you just want to keep on riding with because it feels great. It's fun. It's really a fun pen. Today is the 25th. Okay. Well, that's going to do it, my good friends. He'll put a link below in the description box where you can find this pen if you're interested in buying the pen. Very, very affordable. Again, the N8 glass nib slash. It has a steel nib that comes with it and a converter. I didn't get into the steel nib. Later I will, but for now... I was really anxious to see how this little jewel wrote and it met everything I was hoping it'd meet. Just have a fun writing experience with the glass nib. That's it. God bless everybody. Peace and love. Don't text and drive. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <music>